Hi guys, welcome to Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be making uh, Antonio Carluccio's recipe for bow tie pasta with tomato and basil sauce. It's a quick and easy recipe, so let's get started. So we're going to start with olive oil. We're going to add that. How much is that? And that is six tablespoons of olive oil. So six tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to allow the oil to heat a little bit before we add the onion. Okay, I think the oil is heated up enough. We're going to go ahead and add onion and fry this. Ah, oh, yes. Love that sound. And that is one large onion that has been finely diced. Mm. That smells good already. And then ju we're just going to cook that over a nice low heat until the onion is nice and tender. The recipe does suggest that you should make your own bow tie pasta from scratch. But it does say that if you're in a hurry, um, just to use regular dry pasta. So we're going to take the shortcut today because tomorrow is Christmas and we'll be cooking all day and we just want to do something quick and easy for dinner. Okay, the onions look like they're ready. So we're going to go ahead and add passata. And that is two bottles um, or cartons of 450 grams of bottled passata. You can also use chopped tomatoes if um, if you don't have any passata. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give that a good stir and then turn the heat to low and just allow that to simmer gently for 10 minutes. So um, Antonio did say that when you substitute the dried bow tie pasta to keep in mind that the ones that you would get in the store does not contain eggs, so it will change the taste of the dish somewhat. But again, if, if you don't have time to make this from scratch, the box one will do just fine. Our sauce has cooked for 10 minutes, so next we are going to add the basil, and that is four basil leaves that we are going to shred. No, we are not going to cut that by hand, we're just going to tear it into little pieces. Um, sorry, we're not going to cut that with a knife, we're just going to tear it into little pieces by hand. I'll go ahead and do that, and just add it directly to the sauce. Just add it directly to the sauce. So let me tell you, this already smells just absolutely fantastic. Mm, very good. And we do have our bow tie pasta cooking. And then once we've done that and we are ready to add the pasta to the sauce, um, we will first be adding a couple of eggs that have been lightly beaten. So you don't want your sauce too hot at this point because otherwise you're going to get scrambled eggs. So when you're ready to serve and the, and the sauce has cooled down just a touch, you'll be adding the egg. Okay, should I go ahead and stir this in, do you think? Or? Go ahead and stir it in. Okay. Mm. Boy, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Very nice aroma. Mm. So the next step in the recipe is just before serving, you are going to gently reheat the sauce if it has cooled down. Ours hasn't cooled down that much. As you can see, it's still quite a bit of steam coming off over there. Um, and then you're going to whisk your egg, and that is two eggs. And then while you add the egg to the sauce, you're going to stir it continuously so you don't scramble the eggs. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, the eggs have already been whisked. And you definitely do not want your sauce to boil. So if you are reheating your sauce, make sure your temperature is very low. So we'll add the egg. And you're just going to keep stirring that so it doesn't scramble. Right to the sauce. Yeah, and that is supposed to thicken up your sauce and give it a nice creamy texture. So you want to stir that fairly quickly. Like I said, you don't want that to scramble. And then once that starts to thicken, you're going to go ahead and add your bow tie pasta right into the sauce. What do you think? Is it looking pretty good? I think it's looking great. Okay, I don't going... think the egg scrambled at all. And there's our sauce with the egg added to it, looking nice and creamy and thick. I don't think those eggs scrambled a bit. No, that looks great. And I think we are ready to go ahead and add the pasta. So we're going to go grab that off the stove and then... There's our timer, and then we will add that to our sauce. Before we add the bow tie pasta, we are going to season the sauce with salt and pepper to taste. And 
and we'll go ahead and add the salt to this sauce. Okay. Okay, our sauce is ready. We're going to add the pasta. Let that drain a little bit. And that's going to go straight into the sauce. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mix that sauce in. Mm-hmm. Looking very good. Okay, this is looking really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we are about ready to plate that up. And um, so we're going to go ahead and clean up everything and we'll go ahead and do a taste test. So we are going to garnish that with um, a little bit of shredded basil. Just a couple, three leaves should be enough that you're going to just slice very finely with your knife. And to that we're going to add about 50 grams of grated Parmesan cheese as well. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. Time for the taste test. Let's see what we think of this homemade tomato sauce. Mm. I think this bloweth anything out of a jar completely away. Mm. That fresh basil. Oh my mm. goodness, that is good. That is delicious. Even with the dried pasta, instead of making the pasta from scratch, this is really delicious and so easy. Again, a very simple dish by Antonio, but very, very good. That sauce is just amazing. Yeah, so if you're looking for something really quick and easy to make at home, give this a try. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, and next week we are going to see if we can try our hand at making a risotto. So we are saying goodbye until next time, guys. But first things first, I'm going to keep, keep eating. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my goodness. It's good. Mm. I love that sauce.